We have a 2009 BMW 328i. I, I, I knew you were right. <laughs> we have a 2009 BMW 328i, and the customer has a complaint that the traction goes active, the light flashes, and the uh, car will surge, and uh, obviously it's cutting throttle. The traction has a, a function where it cuts throttle in order to eliminate wheel slippage. So uh, it's very hard to drive for them because it keeps cutting throttle and, and at some point the throttle like completely dies out. They'll be trying to accelerate and the throttle will die out. Uh, traction lights flashing all this time. Uh, we'll get some codes out of it. Uh, this was at a neighboring shop and they uh, didn't have the ability to scan it at all. And uh, they, so they brought it to me because I'm a European specialist here. Don't really claim to be a BMW special, some Volkswagen specialist. But here we go. Let's see what we can find out on it. Okay, we've got the Autel up, and we have a trouble code for 5DC1. Wheel speed sensor plausibility, rear right. Okay, I realize the glare is terrible here, but there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, we are getting ready to drive this car to uh, look at the... Uh, ABS sensors, or maybe I should say traction control sensor, live data, and we want to look at the wheel speed sensors, we're going to look at the all four, I'm trying to show, I have this thing sitting on the floor, it's very difficult for me to reach it, uh, I'm trying to show the method for using the Autel to do this diagnosis and then we down here we click show see that it says show right there and then you can click on them I'm just going to do the both the right and left rear and graph those and let's go drive it Right off the bat, we can see there's some discrepancies here on the rear right. Whereas this one's nice and stable. Okay, I'm trying to show what the car is doing. Our um, Cortland's driving. Hi, Cortland. Hello. And the uh, the dash is just going crazy with the light flashing. Uh, I don't know if you can see that back there, but. There it goes. See the light flash in there? That is the traction control light. And every time that thing flashes, the computer cuts throttle. You may not feel it or see it on the camera, but the harder you drive it, it it's just jerking constantly and surging because the computer is cutting the throttle in order to eliminate the slip. Okay, if you go to this guy's YouTube channel, he talks about this problem. Uh, rusty axle pushes the reluctor off the uh, surface of the axle, and it rubs the uh, it rubs the sensor. It is possible to fix these by replacing the reluctor, which is fairly cheap. But I'm not sure how reliable of a fix that's going to be because it could be out of round after that point and because the rust of the axle makes the axle out of round so it may give a bad signal it could also uh, swell up again causing the problem again uh, we're going to offer the customer the option of fixing it with replacing a reluctor or fixing it with replacing the axle if the customer chooses to replace the axle I'll show you why uh, it's a better fix Portland's in the process of pulling this axle out and we have the sensor out and obviously it's got rub marks on it. It has completely scraped off the bottom of that sensor. We're going to take a look at this axle and see if there's any rub marks on the reluctor. And right there, I think you can see that one right there. Actually, I can see it better without the light. So there's, a, there's a shiny spot. And 
there's a shiny spot. So obviously the sensor is rubbing it. <coughs> okay, the main reason I'm making this video is because the newer axle has a completely different style of reluctor. It is a hard metal part and not a sheet metal ring. And uh, this is a GKN CV joint, brand new. It is not a Chinese made one. Uh, and this will never have this type of problem. It'll never rust underneath it because it's a hard metal piece. And I think this is a good fix where the customer will never have to worry about this again. <clears throat> I really think replacing the axle with the updated style is a good fix. You can see inside there, there's so much rust inside there. With the new part on there, it's never going to be able to get water or air in between there. So it's never going to swell up. <clears throat> How's the installation going? It's going great. Almost done. Of course, uh, we might have to worry about the other side doing this. At some point it's going to rust out and swell up. We're just now backing this BMW out of the bay in order to graph the sensors and I think we're going to make a coffee run, don't you think? Yeah, that sounds good to me. And, uh, hopefully we'll have uh, smooth sensor operation and no uh, throttle tra traction control going active inhibiting our throttle. wonder if it had been worthwhile to sell the customer the other axle at the same time in case in case it rusts out also in the near future. Get it, hit it hard. Nice and smooth. Car's upset that I don't have my seatbelt on. Let me pause this. Well, I'm gonna have to say I think the ABS problem is fixed and we'll get our coffee and head back to shop. In conclusion, I wanna point out that uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos on this type of problem, including ones where they actually change the reluctor. I really feel like that's just a great option for a do-it-yourselfer, and I did offer the customer that option, but they have more money than time without their car. So they wanted uh, it to be done, fixed, for sure. They didn't want to order a reluctor and then wait for it, wait days for it to get here and then have it possibly not work out, um, which may have been the case because there was an awful lot of rust on that axle and it could have uh, not been completely round. And if it's not completely round after, after you install the new reluctor, then it, it might pick up some of the teeth and not the others. Regardless, they didn't want to wait for a reluctor and then have it possibly not work and then have to wait for an axle and uh, they needed to just get back in their car. The axle was readily available. I could have it here the next day. We did have a snafu with the ordering of the axle, but um, still got it done in a reasonable amount of time. It did solve the problem with the uh, flashing light and the traction going active. Uh, the car did end up having a misfire also, uh, but uh, they're gonna they have to make a decision on whether they're going to fix that or whether we're going to fix that. Uh, we do, were doing this for a neighboring shop who, uh, and they were doing it for their customer. Um, so, in conclusion, uh, the replacement GKN axle is a very good solution for the rusting axle problem. So I feel like the replacement axle is a real good fix because this car only has 121,000 miles on it, so with the replacement axle, they can uh, know that it's fixed and they'll probably never have to worry about that side again. Unfortunately, we probably will be doing the other side at some point. It's probably just as rusted, and uh, it'll start triggering code, start rubbing the sensor. But uh, if you've uh, learned anything from this video, or if you've enjoyed watching it, then click like and subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions. I try to answer all questions in the comments. And uh, if you want to contribute to the continued production of these videos, find the donate button on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com.